Hello and welcome to Dress You Speechless. Today's video has been ever skin combo video, and today's gonna be Lando Calrissian. Let's get into this video. This video is going to be another skin combo video. And today is going to be Lando Calrissian, and this is the final new Star Wars skin I've got combos done for. And Lando Calrissian's skin is a part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter Five, Season Two, and can be found in the art shop under the Star Wars tab. And you can either buy the skin in the bundle, which is the Lando Calrissian bundle for 1,800 V bucks, or you can buy the skin separately for 1,500. If you do decide to buy the bundle, you get obviously the Lando Calrissian skin. Pickaxe, well, I'm pretty sure the back is included with him. Yes, yeah, so obviously, if you get the bundle, you get the pickaxe included instead of just having to bought them separately, you wouldn't get the pickaxe. But either way, pretty cool skin, in my opinion. If you ever would like to use my credit code for any cosmetics in the item shop, for example, any of the Star Wars skins or any skins in general, or any cosmetics, I should say, and my credit code is S P E E C H or speech. If you do decide to use it, feel free to let me know so I can thank you personally. And the Lando Carrion skin has the actual description smuggler, scoundrel, and fashion icon with a taste. So back, and I decided to make 10 combos like usual. First combo's back bling is the Star Wars series back bling, which is R2D2, part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. I'm using it for mainly the white and blue design. As you see on the actual Lando skin, he has light blue, he has dark blue, he also has a little bit of black with his hair and his mustache and his eyebrows, I guess, also on his collar as well. Also on his cape, he has a little bit of yellow, as you see on the inside of it. Pretty cool colour scheme to combo with. I found the hardest part for this one, similar to Chewbacca yesterday, is just the weapon wraps for me. But either way, the pickaxe for this combo is a spirit glitcher, part of the Eternal Eyes set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. And this is from the May 2024 crew pack. And this is, this is Spirit to Hunter Seiko's pickaxe. Works very nicely for the black, the light blue, and the dark blue as well. It's a pretty cool looking pickaxe as well. And also has a pretty cool swing animation, or I guess you'd say sound when you swing the actual pickaxe. Sounds pretty cool as well. Glider or umbrella for all combos. It's the holographic, which is the Victory Royale umbrella from Chapter 1 Season 9. If you don't want to use this, use any other glider or umbrella that's blue themed or light blue themed. Quite nice. So if you want to use a Star Wars series themed glider, you could also use the Millennium Falcon. Would work nicely. Contra for all combos is Conduit Crasher. Introduced in Chapter 2 Season 6, similar to the actual umbrella. I'm using it for the light blue design. The first weapon wrap is this one right here. Which is Polished Stone, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass, using it for a light blue and dark blue design. Let's move on to combo number 2. Now, for this combo's back thing, I thought I'd use the Birthstone Backplate, part of the Undercover Summer set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. I'm using the actual Colour Sapphire for the dark blue. You can also use Opal or the Turquoise, any of those three would work nice. If I catch, you could also get away with using Aquamarine for the light blue, but I'd probably say stick with either Sapphire, Opal or Turquoise. I decided to go for Sapphire myself. Pickaxe is Yoda's cane, part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 5 Season 2. I've been using this pickaxe quite a lot. It looks cool and sounds cool as well. And this can be bought in the art shop above the Orlando Carrion skin, either in the Dagobah Luke bundle or the Yoda gear pack, which is depending if you want the Dagobah Luke skin. But either way, it's a pretty cool pickaxe in my opinion. The second weapon wrap is this one right here. Can't say I've used this a lot in any of my combos. It's a warp field. Introduced in Chapter 2 Season 5, using it for the Dark blue has a little bit of light blue and also yellow design as well. Just solid because on the actual cape on the inside has a little bit of yellow. I know you can't really see it obviously when you're playing, so you'll see the back of him. But either way, it works very nicely for the light blue and dark blue design. Let's move on to combo number three now. I thought I'd use another Star Wars series back bling. The back bling I'm using is the Millennium Falcon. I really do like this back bling a lot. It's part of the original trilogy set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. And the Millennium Falcon, I'm pretty sure, was for some... I don't know if it came with a skin or you have to get some challenges done, like Star Wars related ones. But either way, if you do have this back bling, it works nicely. If not, you can just use the um, Lando Carrizian's back bling. It works nicely, which is the Cloud City model. Pickaxe is the Gaffy Stick. Part of the book of the Boba Fett set. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 1. Thought I'd use this for the brown design. Let's move on to the breath wrap for this combo now. It's this one right here, which is a Star Wars series breath wrap, which is Star Map. Part of the Ahsoka Tano set. Introduced in Chapter 4, Season 4's Battle Pass. And it's Ahsoka Tano's breath wrap. You have to get the Ahsoka Tano challenges done to unlock this wrap. I'm using it for the black and blue design. This is how it actually looks on the weapon. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. Let's move on to the next combo, which is combo number 4 now. For this one, I thought I'd use the Mini Moon Back Bling, part of the Ancient Voyager set, introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. I thought I'd use it for the silver design so I could go with the pickaxe, which is the Crowbar, part of the Getaway Gang set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 5. And you got this pickaxe for getting challenges done in the Getaway Game Mode. I'm using this for the black and silver design. And the weapon wrap for this combo 
is a black and silver weapon wrap, which is Assassin, part of the John Wick set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 9. This can be bought in the art shop, as I mentioned, used for black and silver design. Works very nicely for this combo. Let's move on to combo number 5. Now, for this one, similar to the previous combo, but I thought I'd use a silver and blue themed back bling, which is a weather balloon. Part of the Hot Alien Summer set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 7. Basically, it's a UFO back bling. And this is from the season we actually had the UFOs, we can actually use them in game, or the alien themed season, season, <laughs> season, I should say. Pickaxe is a scratch mark, part of the Lynx set, introduced in chapter one, season seven's back pass. And I'm using the style or color blue. We can also just go fully blacked out if you prefer, but I thought I'd go for the black and blue design. The weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here, which is a black and blue weapon wrap, which is blue metallic. Part of the Ice Kingdom set, introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7's Battle Pass, and it's the Ice King's weapon wrap from that season. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 6. For this one, I thought I'd use a new backpack which you can get from the actual Star Wars quest, the actual Star Wars Celebrate the Force quest. I'm pretty sure you have to get 10 of them done, so based on top it says like get 10 done. If you had done 10, you'd actually have the background I'm using, which is the AWR pack. Part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2, using it for the black design. Black and red goes very nicely with the pickaxe I'm using, which is the Sigil of the Empire. Part of the Darth Vader set, introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3's Battle Pass, and it's Darth Vader's pickaxe from that season, using it for the black and red design. I guess there is a little bit of silver as well. It kind of sucks still to this day. We don't have a lightsaber pickaxe we can buy. Obviously, we do have pickaxes we can use in game as mythics, but it's a shame they haven't actually sold the actual lightsaber pickaxes. I don't know if they ever will. If they do, it'd be pretty cool. But either way, this is Darth Vader's. Pickaxe from Chapter 3, Season 3. The weapon wrap I'm using is this one right here, which is the AWR Troopers weapon wrap, once it loads, which is the AWR Armor, part of the original trilogy set. Introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. If you buy the AWR Trooper skin, this actual weapon wrap is bundled with the skin itself, using it for the black and blue design. Works very nicely, almost almost fully blacked out as well, which is always a bonus in my opinion. Works very nicely with the skin and obviously works very nicely with the AWR troop and a lot of different skins that have black related or like fully black color schemes. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number seven. This one I thought I'd use another Star Wars series back bling, which is a Jedi Holocron, part of the prequel trilogy set, introduced in chapter four, season two. I thought I'd use it for blue and gold design. Pickaxe is a cold snap. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 7. Thought I'd use this for the light blue design. Also, I guess the actual flowers on top of the yellow is pretty cool as well. And the weapon wrap for this combo is this one right here. Which is Closed Circuit. Introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. Thought I'd use this for the light blue and dark blue designs. Also animated as well, which is pretty cool. Got a little bit of yellow pulsating through, like basically like a circuit board. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number 8. For this one, I thought I'd use the Fusion Orb back bling. Part of the fusion set. Introduced in Chapter 2, Season 1's Battle Pass. For this, you can either use default or you can also use blue. Both of those work nicely. They both got like a blue design, black and blue design. Either one work nicely, in my opinion. Pickaxe is the icebreaker. Part of the Arctic Command set. Introduced in Chapter 1, Season 1. This is an Iron Shot pickaxe. I thought I'd use it for the black design. Let's move on to the weapon wrap now, which is this one right here, which goes nicely with the actual skin and goes nicely with the icebreaker. It's a little bit of silver, black, and blue on this weapon wrap which is Final Harbinger, part of the Omega Harbinger set, introduced in Chapter Fortnite OG, Season Fortnite OG, and it's the Omega Rocks weapon wrap from that season. This is how it looks on an actual weapon wrap. On the, um, this is how the weapon wrap looks on an actual weapon. The assault rifle works very nicely. Let's move on to the next combo now, which is combo number nine. For this one, I thought I would use the, dis the disassembled C-3PO, part of the original trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 2. This will be bought in the art shop. Um, next to the Dagobah Luke skin right here. It'll cost you 500 V-Bucks for the back bling itself. It's also reactive, so it's depending on whether or not you want to spend 500. I personally bought it because I really do like the back bling, but I can see why people could see it's quite expensive. But either way, I'm using it for the gold and black design. The gold to go to the pickaxe, which is the Royal Naboo Staff, part of the prequel trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 2, and this is Padme Amidala's pickaxe. Use this for the gold, the black, and the silver design. Let's move on to the rack, weapon rack for this combo now. Which is a Star Wars series weapon wrap, which is Actis Class, part of the prequel trilogy set, introduced in Chapter 4, Season 2. Got silver and yellow. Let's move on to the final Lando Carizian skin combos now. And for this one, I thought I would use this back bling right here, which is Blue Glow, part of the Vindaman 2.0 set, introduced in Chapter 5, Season 1. This is part of the Vindaman 2.0 pack you could buy last season, based on the Save the World pack where you can, when you purchase it and you get access to Save the World if you don't already have access. If you do have access to it or don't, 
you'll be able to earn up to, or earn up to 1,500 rebounds, which is doing the Save the World dailies. But either way, it works very nicely for the blue design. It's also reactive as well. Pickaxe is the Cybertronian Axe, part of the Transformers set. Introducing Chapter 4 Season 3's Battle Pass. It's using up for the black, the blue, and the silver design. And this is Optimus Prime Pickaxe from that season. And then the final weapon wrap is this one right here, which is, which is another Star Wars series weapon wrap. And this is from the Chapter 3 Season 3 Battle Pass, which is Darth Shader. Part of the Darth Vader set. And I thought I'd use it for the blacked out design. There's a little bit of red as well, but mainly for the blacked out design. This is how it looks on an actual weapon. And that's all with the Lando Carizian skin combos done. As I did mention at the start of the video, this is my final Star Wars skin combos i got to get done for the new Star Wars skins anyway. If there is any other skins you like to see, or any cosmetics in general, skin, background, pickaxe, slider, slash, umbrella, control, or even weapon app, always feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I'll probably go back to getting suggestions done now, just because I wanted to get all of the new Star Wars skins, or combos made for all of the new Star Wars skins. But I'm pretty happy with all the skins we've got, because we do have quite a few different um, collabs coming up pretty soon. I'm pretty sure we've got maybe some my... My Hero Academia skins, I'm pretty sure we'll get some new ones of those, but we should be getting quite a lot of new skins coming. Hopefully, does Kratos does come back at some point, but who knows now? Obviously, it's been like almost a month now since they said it was going to supposed to be coming back. But either way, that's obviously the end of the video. But anyways, that's pretty decent.